guys and welcome to a new video. Today's topic was so highly requested and at first I was not sure if I wanted to film and talk about this but then my friends and you guys were so persistent asking me to talk about this topic that I just could not resist. Before I start talking about how to get rid of those few like stubborn pounds that we gain during the Christmas period I just wanted to say that if you do suffer with an eating disorder or these type of videos do trigger you please exit now because I'm a pharmacist and I wouldn't like anybody to get any negative effects from this video I want you all, all to be healthy and happy and more than anything else to be happy in your skin because I think that's the most important thing like no matter how much you weigh or how you look it's important to find happiness in your own skin and to accept yourself yourself as you are you know like to change whatever you want in case you want to change that so today I wanted to talk to you about a few things if you are not new to my channel then you definitely know that in 2018 I lost 20 pounds I lost around 9 kilos I think that's 20 pounds I hope so I lost 9 kilos and now I'm going to let you know how I've spoken about it briefly before and I've explained my methods but there's one thing that I haven't really spoken about and all of my friends who I have told this trick and tip have told me tomorrow you have to tell all of your like YouTube audience you just have to you just have to you just have to so around last summer I did an interview for a Serbian media platform and I have explained all of my kind of like details on this like routine and most audience was like really impressed with it and people were saying that it really helped them many many feedbacks that, that I got were like wow you like changed my life you changed my health you changed my energy levels etc so I thought like you know what why would I deprive my international audience of these tips and tricks and I just really wanted to share that with you so I lost the weight in 2018 and throughout 2018 I maintained it all I weighed exactly the same throughout the year I was not gaining weight which normally people say once you lose weight you will gain it back but keep in mind that I lost weight over the period of a year so it was not rushed it was not fast it was not unhealthy and I planned on keeping it away so I managed to maintain it which they say is much harder than actually losing it I maintained it throughout the 2019 and then the festive period came and as every year I just you know got relaxed it's like holiday time I'm more at home I'm less active just enjoy time with my friends and I ate so many sweets, which I tend not to do anymore, but I ate so many sweets that I did gain a few pounds, which I by now got rid of. And I will tell you a little bit about that. So the problem with what I do and gaining a few pounds over the Christmas period or over the holidays, New Year's, whatever you want to call it, is that already in like third week of January I'm back to work I'm back at fashion week sometimes even second week of January I'm back at fashion weeks doing like Milan men's fashion week or Paris men's fashion week followed by haute couture this year followed by Copenhagen fashion week followed by New York London Milan Paris fashion weeks and for all of those I'm heavily photographed I have to be on the street wearing samples like you know certain looks that I'm styling and showing my personal style. If you gain quite a bit of weight, it can be quite tough, you don't feel good in your skin. Well, certainly, like, I wouldn't feel great in my skin if I'm on the streets being photographed and I know that I'm not looking my best. So, for me, it's very important to get back to that original weight quite early in January and I'm gonna talk to you about a few of my best tips and tricks. First very important thing is getting a routine. When you're traveling and when you're constantly on the road, when you're doing stuff, it's so hard to get into a routine. So I'm gonna be going to Paris, then to Copenhagen, then to New York. Now actually in between that I'm gonna be going to France, then New York, then London, then Milan, then Paris, etc, etc, etc. And it's really hard to get in routine when you don't have like a living routine, when you don't have a kitchen, when you don't have um, your own bed. And bed is especially important because thing number one that I'm going to talk to you about is sleep. I think as a pharmacist, but also from my experience, the sleep is the most important thing. And this is a very easy one. You can like nail this one very easy all you need to do is go to bed before midnight i'm a relatively young person i guess what you still call young nowadays and i love going to bed after midnight i love going to bed around one o'clock i go to bed at like 11 30 and then i watch netflix until 12 30 and then i would fall asleep around one and that's just bad it's bad because your liver is metabolizing fats while you sleep liver only works while you sleep while your all of your other organs are sort of like 
I guess you can call it resting. If you don't allow your liver that healthy sleep, which is before midnight, it's more likely to work a little bit inefficiently. And the less you sleep, the more likely you are to gain sort of fat. Yeah. Also, the less you sleep, the more likely you are to be a bit more stressed. That way you are more likely to excrete a certain stress hormone called cortisol, which is known to also pile fats around your waist and stomach area. Besides that, the less you sleep, the more likely you are to be hungry throughout the day because you're running on less energy and your body is thinking, okay, I need energy, I should intake more food. So you're taking more food and mostly carbohydrates because that's what you're craving when you sleep less. So first thing is sleep. And how you're gonna nail this one is because it's very easy. So if you, if you struggle to go to bed early, this is what you're gonna do. Tomorrow morning you're gonna wake up at 5 o'clock. It's very early, it's unnecessary, but you're gonna do that tomorrow. So tomorrow you're gonna wake up at 5 o'clock, you're gonna set up that alarm, get up at 5, and by the time it's like 9 you will be exhausted. You will be so tired that you will be going to bed at 9 or 10, and you can thank me later for that. I know it's like very obvious and some people say like, no, I cannot wake up at like 5, it's impossible. You just have to like make a decision. You have to make a contract with yourself, you have to promise. Go and tell all of your housemates tomorrow I'm waking up at 5. Go and tell your mom or your friend or somebody call me tomorrow at 5 to make sure that I'm up. I need to be up at 5. And then start working. What you will also notice that in the morning you will be so productive, you will be so amazing, you can even go to the gym. That's the best way to start 2020. I, I find those first hours between 5 and 9 to be very useful. Sometimes I would get up at 6 or 7, 7 I call a line, like, but um, getting up at 5 will really, really work and you will be so tired by 10, you will change your rhythm. And yes, I agree, sometimes it is difficult if you have like social life and you go for dinners and you stay a little bit later. However, I personally believe that you can, you know, still stay a few days a little bit later and you kind of like get adjusted to that just like you do every day for, you know, like when you have to get up early or when you have to get up, when you have to stay up later. I have been using also an app. This is not sponsored, by the way. This is like a genuine, nothing is sponsored in this video. This is a genuine advice. It's called Sleep Cycle. I've been using it for a year and a half, definitely since 2018. I saw uh, my friend Xenia using it and then I started using it and it's really great because it monitors your sleep and what it does it wakes you up in the most gentle way so in the morning when my phone goes off at 5 I'm not stressed to wake up I wake up in the most natural way because it monitors my sleep and it wakes me up in the best time for my body to wake up but it also has certain like um, fall asleep methods such as like rain I like to listen to one called a rain on the car roof um, it's very soothing for me and I love sleeping while it's raining outside, so. I'm now going to talk to you about my tip numero dos. Tip number two is intermittent fasting. And this is the one that I was very hesitant if I should or I should not talk to you about because it can be in a way triggering or it can be difficult for some of you. People sometimes don't understand it. But what it means is that you are every other day or two days a week or a few days a week or every day eating for eight hours in a day and not eating for 16 hours in a day. Now this doesn't work for me always because very often I would be on trips. I have like breakfast, lunch, dinner with a brand or I would have uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner meetings. And I absolutely enjoy when I go on holidays. I'm not like fasting. I'm trying to be very like eating whatever I want. During the holidays I was eating whatever I wanted, whatever my heart desired, I was really enjoying life because that's what you need to do, you need to enjoy life as well. But intermittent fasting has massive massive benefits on your body because while you are not eating and you're not intaking any calories or food, your digestive system is not working and your other tissues and organs and the rest of your body can repair the cells, the tissues, the organs are repairing. So for example, like digestive system takes very long time to process food so if you eat last at like let's say five or six you're still digesting sometimes you know at 10 at 11 by the time that the food goes through your whole system so you need to give several hours in this way you're giving your body at least like 10 hours to recover without digesting anything but imagine if you're eating up until midnight and then you get up and you're eating from like eight o'clock you're literally giving your like body two or three hours to repair the tissues repair the cells etc so it's very simple how i do it personally is that i eat between 10 and 6 and the rest of the day i do not eat 
if I don't eat after 6 by the time I go to bed, which is like 10, I feel great. I don't feel too full, I don't feel hungry, I'm great. In the morning I get up very early and I will have a tea or um, hot water with lemon or I will have coffee, which is not the best, but I like it. That way I will kind of slowly start getting my body into the, you know, like prepared for food, but I would only eat at 10. And I'm absolutely fine with it, my body is used to that system. But I've never felt more energized, I never felt better, I've never felt more mindful about food, about what I intake in my body, and I'm very careful about like, you know, thinking that my body needs to take time to repair. It's very funny because I told uh, my friend Camilla about this, and she was like, mm, I don't know, like, I might try it, whatever. And the most incredible thing about this is that you lose a lot of weight around your waist area and around the part where you, like, you don't get bloated, you're not getting bloated anymore, you lose weight around the waist, you lose weight around those kind of, like, unhealthy parts of the body. You don't lose the, like, good weight, you lose the bad weight. When I told my friend Camilla about it, she told me that this is something that is also spoken about in like Bible, in Quran, in different religions, because this is something that has been known, like people have known about this for centuries. It's something that is very, very well known to help uh, your body to recover your mind and your body from constantly digesting food in modern times. So for me this is like a massive one and this is something that helps me. I wake up with like a very flat stomach and after doing this for three days I already started noticing like pounds going down. So for me this is kind of like how to quickly get rid of the weight that you gained during Christmas. It's like a very quick way because your body like starts metabolizing faster but also it's not like difficult. It's not so difficult. During the eight hours I would eat pretty much anything that I want and like the rest of the day I felt really really great and not hungry which is also very important. Maybe I will feel hungry or difficult on the first few days because if you eat all the time your body is like used to it so it will be like you will be peckish but not hungry so that's very important to mention and for me this is a very quick way to shed those pounds that I gained during Christmas. This is what really helped and this is what got me back to my flat stomach. Back on track. The other thing that I would say is vitamin intake. For me this is so important. I guys like, I mean this is again not sponsored, like I don't know why I have to say this all the time, but the amount of these that you will find lying everywhere is crazy. I actually have these as well on the table because I was just taking. When I'm hungry or if I'm feeling a little bit like, you know, I didn't, you know, like I need to take more food and it's, I don't know, past my eating time, I would drink a Barocca. These are suitable for diabetics, so they do not have sugar, but they taste orangey. And they're full of vitamin B, which is absolutely great. Let's see what else they have. They're not suitable for pregnant women, that I know. But they have vitamin B1, B2, niacin, vitamin B6, folic acid, B12, biotin, which is also vitamin B, pantothenic acid, vitamin C, magnesium and zinc. So it's B complex plus vitamin C, pantothenic acid, magnesium and zinc. Magnesium and zinc are great for me because I used to get spasms in my muscles, especially when I start working out more. Also like with allergies, I suffer with hay fever. Since I've been taking these, everything was under control. I felt much better. Magnesium and zinc for me are great, but so are the vitamin bees for all of your hair for nails and everything else and once you are like intaking more vitamins your body like is taking you you should not absolutely not substitute this with like food with this 100 percent not like million percent not you will cause like bad you will not have results but what i'm saying is that this really helps with kind of getting all the necessary vitamins. When you feel hungry, you kind of trick your body at night into thinking like, okay, I'm, I'm getting some really good stuff. Uh, one more thing that is very, very important is that you actually do break that fast. So you're fasting for 16 hours and then you need to eat. You should not be starving yourself. Once you eat, you need to eat a lot. You need to eat a lot throughout those eight hours that you're eating because if you do not, your body will be excreting um, hormone, which is like a starving hormone. And then your body thinks like, okay, I'm in a starvation mode. I'm not receiving enough food. It like excretes this hormone, which then stores your fat. It holds on to your fat because it thinks like, I need to protect the fat. I need to hold on to it. We cannot let it go. It's very, very bad for you. So basically you need to eat 
during the eight hours you need to eat and you need to eat a lot constantly eat during the eight hours of your day do not starve yourself do not kind of try and like think that this is like a thing you know you need to eat because your body cannot think that you're starving yourself that's very very important when it comes to workout i am slowly but surely getting back to the gym it's much easier for me actually to work out when i'm traveling because i get up very early and most of the hotels i stayed at they have a gym i don't know what it's like for you but i like working out on an empty stomach after which I eat. I can talk more about my workouts maybe in another video. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. Last but not the least, I know that everything, like all of this is easily said, but it's not so easy to do. And very often it can be one of those things that in theory it sounds like lovely, but once you start doing it, it's so hard, it's so hard to move yourself to kind of start and to say, okay, I'm gonna do it today. I'm not gonna order another like takeaway. I'm not gonna have a pizza, like a massive pizza at nine o'clock or like you stop eating at six and then you're really good. And then at 11, you're so hungry, you eat. Like I completely understand that. But you have to understand that discipline and self-control are the most important thing in life I, I think like best like most important characteristics that you should have I think discipline and self-control for me are so important that's a, at least how I was raised maybe I'm wrong but that's how my parents taught me to understand how important it is to be self controlled and disciplined it's like a muscle you know discipline is like a muscle the more you work it the better you'll be at it and not just in food you will be more disciplined at work you will be more focused you will be more disciplined with like in relationships in the way you carry yourself you will be more proud of yourself because you will be able to say no to bad things and yes to yourself and to good things which i believe is very important so how i practice discipline i watched a really really good ted talk by dan ariely i will try and link it below and it's all about self-control and it inspired me so incredibly much like i can't even tell you how much it inspired me but it says that like whenever you're like kind of short on some good stuff and you're like getting saying no to something that you really enjoy you should give yourself like a reward so for example if i make myself go to the gym the way i want to go to the gym is that i have connected gym to something very good so after gym i would have like this protein smoothie that i really love that i make at the gym and also during the workout at the gym i am allowed to watch my favorite tv program or favorite youtube uh, videos and I'm only allowed to do that while I'm at the gym so that's the way I would make myself go to the gym I'm not allowed to watch it at home I'm only allowed to watch it at the gym or for example after I'm done eating at 6 I would make sure that uh, my sister and I watch one episode of like currently we're watching uh, The Messiah and we will watch one episode together you know like this is at the beginning how I gave myself something I knew that yeah like you know it's it's kind of hard like at this time for example at night at the beginning but afterwards obviously it gets easy but while it was hard at the beginning my treat was that I get to spend time with my sister and we're both sitting in front of the TV and we're watching it and it's like it becomes a routine I think routines in life are extremely important as well and once you have a routine it's so much harder to um, fail it's so much harder to you know like do something that you're not going to be proud of afterwards those were my top tips on how to get a flat stomach after christmas how to get back to the routine how to have your best year be proud of yourself and if you start now this summer you can have the body you're really proud of and trust me like when that happened to me in 2018 when i got the, my best body ever like and i then maintained it I was just so 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 happy so yeah in 2018 actually I said no to sweets and I kind of that's how I started it and then I continued with intermittent fasting but then in 2019 I introduced the sweets back I was just being very moderate about them but I continued with intermittent fasting so for me that's the main thing I recommended it to my mother I recommended it to everybody <laughs> that I know and for me honestly it's something that I really really believe in it's what gives me a lot of focus what gives me energy it's my top tip for you guys so that's about it i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any other tips and tricks please do share them with me i would really love any kind of advices on this topic and i think this is a community i believe in i trust that us we can share the best tips and tricks and also other people can benefit from that thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye guys